Good morning. I'm uh, Officer Joe Murdoch, the Lake Havasu City Police Department. I'm a senior officer with the uh, with the department. I'm uh, currently in the Motor Division. I've been here uh, with the department 12 years, and with the uh, Traffic Division, uh, motor been a motor officer over for five now. Uh, what we're going to show you today is a little bit about the motorcycle and what we ride. We have two of them currently in our de in our department. Uh, myself and Officer Clint Wilcox are the two motors. Great bike. That's been great for Lake Havasu City and. Uh, it really helps us uh, to protect and serve the uh, community. Uh, this is a Honda ST1300. Uh, it's a 2007 model. Uh, this particular model I have about 54,000 miles in all uh, of our streets here in Havasu. It's, it's actually held up pretty good. Um, there's a number of uh, neat, uh, neat features on this bike that not necessarily the others don't have. It's just it's worked out real good for our city uh, with it being as hot as it is. We can ride it year round. It's uh, liquid cooled. So when we're out there riding at 110, 115, 120, uh, it, it holds up for us. I mean, our bodies probably won't hold up as much as the bike will or the motor will. Um, some features that we have, and actually I'll start on some features that, are, that aren't necessarily attached to it, but what's really important on our, uh, in the state of Arizona, not uh, when you're over 16, not required to wear a helmet. However, we choose to wear a helmet for our safety. Um, gloves are real important. Try to grab the, the handlebars and the clutch and brake fingers. You're gonna you're gonna burn them in our. In our everything else, okay? You've got a flashlight for any type of. Even though we run mostly days, we do run at night. Uh, or if we need to go into a building that's not lit, uh, we'd have a flashlight. Um, we've got different types of radar on this on this particular motor. Um, the the come on over around here. This is a Doppler radar, which deals with relative motion. What it does is it sends out a signal and it picks up a signal and if it's coming to you the frequency will be higher, if it's going away from you it will be lower. So that's what it does is it measures that. It also take in, takes into consideration my speed. Uh, I've got a pickup device in the back so it'll tell me what the vehicles that are coming to, approaching me and also if uh, someone's approaching me and then leaving me I can also sh switch it and it'll tell me how fast that vehicle is going uh, away from me. Got another pickup up front, the same thing. I can see the, see them in front of me and, uh, and uh, coming at me and also leaving me also. When we're not traveling back and forth or we're sitting and just worrying about front and rear traffic, along the side we have an actual portable device. And this is a laser. It's called a LiDAR. That's made by Stalker also, which is also the same. This is a laser guided, uh, laser uh, directional uh, radar. So a little more pinpoint accuracy. This will actually even tell us the feet away the, from the vehicle when we pick it up on speed. This one right here will pinpoint the vehicle that we're doing. These are a little more general. You can pick up the first two cars coming at you. So this is a really good devices to be able to tell what our speed, uh, what the speeds are. All of our display is done up here. I can turn that on. Uh, this will tell you, as I said, it'll pick up the first two or the fastest and the next and the next That's speed to it. Uh, we can lock it in their speed. This will tell me the rear also, and it'll also lock in my speed. We offer this. Uh, this is uh, we we as we're traveling as officers, we learn to gauge speed. If we can see that one vehicle appears to be going faster than the speed limit, based on our experience and training. Um, then, then we would guide our attention towards that and also the, the radar. At that point in time, if indeed we do confirm that it is driving faster than the speed limit or, or whatever speed that is, we would lock it in. Um, that, uh, all of that information is available to the driver if indeed, you know, within both of our safety, we, we would offer them that to come back and look at that. All of this is the controls for the radar. All of this is just the readout for the radar. Everything else up here is pretty basic to any Honda ST1300. This particular model is is available to the public. This is an ST 1300 PA, which is a police edition. I don't know that you can buy a white one for for the uh, for the regular folks, but uh, other than that, everything else is the same. They're, the motor is the same. It's a V4. Um, uh, let's see. Other than the equipment with the bars and the LED lights and whatnot, great for visibility. Again, we don't use them a lot at night. We'll use them for pyrotechnics. We'll use it on big holiday weekends. But again, we're, we're quite the, we're quite a target and or we're hard to see at points sometimes. Um, our radio, our two-way radio, we plug into the radio with the via. The, the, this would plug into our into the side right here. So we got to be concerned about pulling that on and off every time we're on and off the bike. Also, this part goes to into our radio would hook, hook into our our, uh, our helmet. It's got a device here. So that what we are able to do is talk right from our helmet, where it, we have a, a, a switch that will modulate to the to dispatch and or I can use the PA from this so I can tell you know tell folks to what they need to do.
help them out. Uh, everything else is the same. We've got controls for our lights, uh, both just for the rear or, or, or front and rear. Come on around here and I'll tell you a little bit about the bags and what we carry. Uh, our officers, the motor officers, as well as our traffic division, uh, handles all calls for service as far as any type of um, possible uh, drunken driving, uh, you know, allegations, anything like that, any kind of calls of reckless driving, things like that we do. We do all crashes. If there's a crash that comes out, we'll run to a crash. So some of this stuff that we need to keep here is all pertaining to that. Our now, Clint may have his set up a little bit different. There's really not a lot of organization. There's a few things you need to carry. Um, I carry some personal items in my wallet, my, my cell phone, things like that. But we need to carry envelopes. We need to carry all of our, you've got citations that are both hard right, and then we have a new machine, and I'll explain that shortly. Is a, and actually, it's been out for a few years. Uh, it's an electronic uh, citation device that's all cordless. It's really neat. It's a pretty neat feature. But I'll carry things such as our handwritten citations in case something goes wrong with that. Um, I carry some mile markers uh, so that I don't have to retain all of the information regarding how many miles. Uh, envelopes. Um, but our, our electronic device, cordless, whoever may be watching this may uh, be aware and have seen this. But it's, uh, it's pretty neat. If you don't have your ID on you for some reason, we can record. We can actually take pictures of you. We can actually uh, do the magnetic feed, or we can do the uh, we can uh, read the back end of your registration and your license with this. Copy. Makes it really, really a good uh, a good feature to be able to just uh, do it on site, less time. Carry camera equipment for hit and runs, and or just uh, you know two people are there on scene, and uh, we're, we want to record the evidence of a of a crash, say, um, or something. You know, we have a spill in the roadway, and then somebody got an ID on the vehicle. We would uh, we, we our cameras for for evidence. Uh, I've got a toolkit. You know, there's a lot of reasons why we might need a toolkit. It might be just to, uh, to take off a, uh, something that's dragging on a vehicle that's driving down the roadway, something real simple. Or it could be removing plates, you know, because they don't have the lack of insurance. Uh, there's a lot of different things that we can carry in here. We don't carry any necessarily liquid because it would get hot real fast. We just take, take more breaks. This side, as I said, we respond to crashes, so there's a lot of things here. Uh, we also investigate uh, possible people that are under the influence maybe of uh, prescription medications, illegal substances, and or, or alcohol. So we have portable breath tests. Um, again, a lot of my, I kind of jump around here a little bit, but we've got accident investigation tools. If we're out at night, we need to put out some, uh, some type of uh, warning devices to oncoming motorists. Uh, our portable breath test equipment, uh, a tent meter as, uh, as most know the state of Arizona has requirements on the, the tinning uh, requirements on the front, not, not on the windshield, and the front, front uh, windows got to be 33% plus or minus three points. We are enforcing that. Uh, not only is it a safety issue for, for officers, but also a, a safety issue for those that are driving at night. We're not even enforcing at night necessarily at night, but it's, uh, uh, it's got to be, these are just more tools for the portable breath test. And then I've got measuring devices such as, uh, such as tapes, uh, hard tapes. I've got my backup to be able to, if I have a question or if the customer or the uh, resident has a, or the person that has violated the law has a question about the ARS, the Arizona Revised Statutes. Um, I've got a vest. Obviously, I need to be safe out there with that. It's, it's great. A lot of fine tools on this motor. The motor has been, there was a lot of testing in the beginning back in 2007, which I wasn't a part of the traffic division then. But when they brought the motors back to our department, they uh, they tested. I believe BMW. Not sure if Kawasaki was in the mix at that time. Hondas and Harley Davidson. And for our agency, again, the Honda turned out to be the bike of our choice. And I'm very glad. Almost any bike or any motor now uh, would be going backwards. And 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 for what for our uses are. But since then, some others have come out on the market. So uh, we're going to use these for a number of uh, more years before we'll uh, hopefully be able to pick up uh, more. Maybe, maybe if not two, but at least to maybe to increase our traffic. Motor is very important for Lake Havasu City uh, for its uh, for its folks because we can get in and out of traffic. Uh, I'm not only talking about for uh, you know crime or civil traffic uh, issues, but also if we need to get to an emergency and, and traffic's backed up, we can get through traffic real easy. So it's really been it's really been a good tool. Uh, our enforcement being out there, we see a lot of a lot of folks. Uh, doing up their seat belts. We see a lot of blinkers used. We see a lot of stops when they need to be. So it's, uh, I think it's a real good proactive tool for Lake Havasu City.
Okay, to continue on, uh, there's some other great features that work out really, really nice for this bike. Obviously, for me to be able to talk to somebody or the siren to work, we got to have a speaker. That's what this is here. Um, some of you might have seen me pointing everything out, and I forgot to mention that. Uh, to leave that on the whole time is rather, it, it's rather dead, deafening to our ears, so a lot of times that'll be intermittent, so if somebody wonders why that's uh, going on and off or, you know, different traffic, then that's, that would be the reason. Excellent motorcycle for our, our purposes. I want to show you another feature that is really that's really neat because as, as you know a lot of our a lot of our climate is really warm and because of what we are wearing for protection um, it's got a neat feature that Honda has and it's a windshield that's adjustable uh, meaning that it goes up and down. Where that's nice is if it when it gets cooler you get to, you can have it all the way down and feel that air on you. Unfortunately, that's when the bugs come out, so you've got to kind of fine tune that balance of uh, eating a bug and not, but it's pretty neat. It's uh, anybody that uh, ever rides one of these. Once you have this and then you don't have it, it's uh, you miss it. And like I say, that's just to to give you more air or to block more air. You know, it's either going to be just right or or too hot or or whatever. But this will help you adjust it. Uh, I'm going to turn this on right now because I want you to see the LEDs, and you can, uh, if you know anything about lights, you can tell the difference, uh, uh, the, the the brightness. You know pretty bright out here right now, at night they're really amazing. I'll show you the readout on the uh, this here pretty shortly. That sound that it makes is natural, it doesn't, so there's nothing been done to the motorcycle. Um, it's not a sewing machine in it, there's no uh, turbos or uh, anything like that, it uh, works really good. So really, it's a fast bike, but then it's a, it's a real heavy bike because of all of our equipment and the different apparatuses on it. traffic that we encounter if we're coming up to an intersection we want to get as many people's attention and from from our point um, so that's why a lot of times I'll run that siren just playing until I come up to an intersection and I'll hit that chirp and it really it's really it, it wakes people up to, to, to know where I'm at um, can't think of uh, you know what we get a lot of comments about this seat cushion and it's, uh, it's not a seat cushion I shouldn't say this is actual wool it's beautiful for the summertime. It's a, it keeps us cooler in the summertime. Yeah, I don't know if you can imagine, and the, the motorcycle riders out there, you jump on a hot leather seat or a hot uh, uh, vinyl seat. It's, it's it takes a while to adjust, and you're you're red for a while. This here is really good for the summertime for that purpose. It has nothing to do with the way it, you know. It's not nothing about looks. I did want it in pink, but the department wouldn't go for it. In the winter time, it's good because it keeps you warm. Also that way, it's, it reverses the you know works this, the, the opposite way. We had a company here in town that actually blessed us with, uh, with some gel. We put some gel underneath the seat and built it into the cushion. Uh, it, seemed to, it seemed to help. I mean, the, the seats that come uh, factory were, were, were adequate, but the gel was a ni nice addition. See a lot of folks out there that are really, they got too many things on their, on their mind when they're driving. I see a lot of their necks not turning when they, they should be. They rely on their peripheral vision quite a bit. So I would just encourage folks that it's not hard to drive, but it, is, uh, it does take some doing to, to really pay attention. We investigate a lot of crashes that uh, really, really shouldn't be happening. But uh, anyway, drive safe.